Aqua, the group behind the infamous Barbie Girl song, announced this week in the wake of the Barbie movie being one of the highest grossing films of the year and Warner Brothers highest grossing film of all time, surpassing Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part two, by the way, Aqua have announced a world tour. And if that isn't the definition of genius, then I don't know what is. Because think about it, like culturally, Aqua peaked in the 90s when that song came out. Aqua's peak and nobody could challenge that. Nobody could challenge this. Aqua's peak was Barbie Girl back in the late 90s. That is when they were at the peak of their fame. And I would argue, and I didn't know this, but they have been, they have like sporadically toured and like, well, let, let's just check their discography. Like when did their last last studio album actually come out? When did Aqua, Danish Norwegian Euro pop band, best known for their single Barbie Girl. Okay. So their first album Aquarium, which is the one that featured Barbie Girl came out in 1997. Aquarius in 2000, right? They didn't have another album until 2011. So that was 11 years later with Megalomania. And you'd think that 11 years later, like I, I wonder if they broke up in that time yet. Yeah. So they broke up in 2001, got back together in 2008, did a new album. And you've got to assume that was like, hey, you know, it's been 10 years since Barbie Girl. It's been, you know, 15 years since Barbie Girl. Nostalgia's big. Let's do, let's get back together. We'll do a tour. We'll do a new album. We'll tour, make a bit of money. You know, let's get, let's get a little bit more money. And, 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 you know, good on them for doing that. You know, people will go and see them. Thanks to the Barbie movie, Aqua, I would argue, is now in its most culturally relevant state since 1997. And they have announced their Barbie Girl tour worldwide. Absolutely genius they are going to like this possibly could set them up for the rest of their lives barbie is front of mind the nostalgia for barbie girl is high and even higher because of the barbie movie everyone's thinking about barbie aqua goes okay guys do we give it one more go we do a tour we don't do an album we just tour and get everyone hyped to hear us do barbie girl live we'll do dr jones that other song we'll do a bunch of other songs that no one knows as long as we just finish with Barbie Girl, everyone will be happy. Everyone's thinking about it. Let's put on some shows and make millions of dollars. And they will. This is one of the most genius PR things I've ever seen in my life. The timing. And they must have been stewing on it. They must have been like, hey, if the Barbie movie is good, let's do a world tour with Barbie Girl. Let's just do it. We'll make so much money. It's the There will never be a point in time in which our song Barbie Girl will be more culturally relevant. We have to do this and they're doing it. And look, I'll be honest. I have looked up live videos of them for the past, from the past 10 years or so. And like, let's just say they're struggling with their age. The, the singing is not phenomenal, um, but it's more, it's like the experience. It's the nostalgia in the experience of it. That's why people are going. And it's sort of like the, when people go see the Wiggles, like adults go see the Wiggles. It's like, oh, this is fun. This is a bit of a meme. It's fun. It's nostalgic. That's what this will be. And they are going to make so much money. They will sell out everywhere. And then they can probably never do it again because this is just peak timing for them. Genius idea. I, I really respect Renee Diff, Lene Nystrom and Soren Rasted. They are the members of Aqua. Yes, I did just read this off the Wikipedia page. Oh, Renee Diff is the is the guy. Lene is the girl. There you go, food for thought. 